Illinois State University has entertained the public through a wide variety of circus shows over the decades. Many thousands of people have come to watch the performances over the years. Over 2,000 ISU students have prepared for and performed in these shows. But how did ISU's Gamma Phi Circus get here? Around 2100 BC, the Chinese began performing gymnastic pyramids and balancing. Ancient Greeks placed much importance on gymnastics. Ancient Romans introduced gymnastics as a training for their military program. They practiced mounting and dismounting onto wooden horses. In the Middle Ages, human towers were utilized during sieges and also presented at public performances. In ancient Rome, the beginnings of modern circuses started as horse and chariot races, equestrian shows, and stage battles. In ancient Egypt and China, acrobats and jugglers were very popular. In the Middle Ages, physical performers entertained crowds at fairs throughout Europe. On April 4, 1768, in Lambeth, London, Philip Astley staged the first modern circus. It was a display of horse riding tricks which he had developed from his experience riding horses during the Seven Years' War. Astley then added jugglers, acrobats, rope dancers, and clowns to entertain the audience between riding tricks. In 1793, equestrian John Bill Ricketts opened a one-ring circus in Philadelphia, which was so popular that President George Washington rode to see the show. In 1871, the modern circus became cemented when Phineas Taylor Barnum and William Cameron Coop debuted P.T. Barnum's Museum, Menagerie, and Circus. With his museum background, Barnum incorporated into the shows exotic animals, sideshow oddities, and performances of strength and agility. In the mid-1700s, Johann Basdow conducted the first gymnastics as part of the school work in Europe. In 1793, Guts Muth, using Greek fundamentals, published the first book on gymnastics, Gymnastics for Youth. His gymnasium contained seesaws, climbing poles, ropes, balance beams, and vaulting apparatus. In the late 1800s, Wellington's Physical Training School in New Zealand put on the first identified college circus, documented as an exhibition of gymnastics. On March 10, 1899, Columbia University in New York City performed their first gymnastics exhibition. Prior to 1901, Ohio State University presented their first gymnastics exhibition, which became known as Gamma Phi in 1902. It was defined as a fraternity of gymnasium aides. In 1900, ISNU opened a building called The Gymnasium. In 1901, a Gamma Phi National Athletic Society was formed. In 1901, the University of Wisconsin presented their first University Circus to raise funds for the gymnastics team to travel. In 1903, the University of Minnesota presented their first University Circus. In 1905, Michigan State Agricultural College presented their first annual circus. In 1906, the University of Illinois presented their first interscholastic circus, better known as the world's greatest amateur circus. In 1907, State College Pullman, Washington presented their first gymnastics exhibitions. In 1908, Washington State University presented their first Portland Social Turnbine. In 1908, Ten of the Ohio Alpha Chapter members of Gamma Phi Society went to Ohio Wesleyan University and installed a new chapter of Gamma Phi. Clifford E. Horton was initiated into this fraternity on Tuesday, December 4, 1917. In 1910, Northwest University presented their first college carnival. In 1919, the University of Iowa presented their first water circus, the Dolphin Show. 
1921, Eastern Michigan presented their first college circus. In 1924, Case Western Reserve University began a chapter of Gamma Phi. The founder, Al Bates, was in Gamma Phi with Pop Horton at OWU in 1922. In 1857, the governor of Illinois signed legislation creating a normal school. Later in 1857, Abraham Lincoln drafted the paperwork, ensuring the construction of ISNU's facilities. On October 5, 1857, Illinois State Normal University opened. In 1862, Richard Edwards, ISNU's second president, required all students to participate in free gymnastics accompanied by music. In 1923, Clifford Horton comes to ISNU as an athletic coach and the first full-time teacher of physical education for men. On November 11, 1929, approval was received from ISNU administration to form the Alpha Chapter of Gamma Phi. Oh, yeah! Gamma Phi received many intramural trophies. Yeah! Prior to 1933, the University of Michigan performed their first circus. On March 11, 1932, the first on-campus ISNU Gamma Phi performance was presented at McCormick Gymnasium. In 1933, the University of Illinois presented the first Gymnastica Gymkhana. In 1933, the University of Iowa presented their first annual Iowa service. In 1942, due to World War II, all collegiate circuses other than Gamma Phi at ISNU and the college circus at Eastern Michigan University cease or have already ended. In 1948, Gamma Phi performances resumed In 1948, Florida State University presents their first Flying High Circus. In 2015, Gamma Phi Circus at ISU presents their 86th annual show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gamma Phi Circus, the longest running collegiate circus in the world!